Special Military Operation? Question mark by Habitual Line Crosser. America, I feel you have finally come to your senses and oh, decided no. to leave the country of Iraq. Not really worth it anymore <laughs> with you throwing all that money at your terrorism buddies. Plus, I don't really have to be there and I can get the same result. What, what are you talking about that you don't have to be there and can still get the same result? You do not belong here in the Middle East. Go that, that sounds like some DOD money is about to get spent. Back to the West. Trust me, I would love to leave the Middle East and never come back. But unfortunately, every time I leave an area and like, hey, y'all just keep your shit cool, right? You decide to get all uppity, you pump a bunch of money into your terrorist friends, and then you get me fucking involved. <laughs> but anyways, all I'm going to say is keep one eye on the sky at all times. It's okay, America. Another great deal has been signed between you and I. You know, you're right, Poland. I always feel better after I sell some defense contracts. <laughs> what have you sold Poland now? Honestly, at this point, a shorter list would be what I haven't sold to Poland, which is like... Aircraft carriers, the F-22. Yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> yeah, no, my, America's out here selling all sorts of stuff to people, including me. America, those SM-6, they fire pretty all right. You sold missiles to Australia. Yeah, but to be fair, that was years ago. They've had them for a while. They just fired it for the first time. But, <laughs> but it wasn't in combat, so we're good. I'm not getting so, anywhere. Good. Poland, what have you bought this time from America? Let's see. A couple hundred M120C AMRAMs, and uh, I'm building 48 M903 Patriot launchers. Uh, I'm not very military savvy. Uh, that sounds like uh, some big and high value uh, DOD assets. <laughs> sounds like Poland is uh, is about to get a giant, <laughs> giant arsenal. Oh my god! Bloody hell! I know, it's beautiful. Hey, Russia, I know you're struggling in Ukraine with two Patriot systems. Let's see how you like 12 of them, Kurva. I'm not struggling. <laughs> I destroyed those Patriot systems months ago. By the way, Ukraine, stay on your side of the border. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Now it's my side of the border? Previously, it was all land of the Russian Federation and you were coming here to liberate it. Doesn't feel very good when someone rolls across your border, does it? It's not the same. <laughs> Kursk is full of non-combatants. This is war crime. Tell that uh -huh. to everywhere in Ukraine that you've bombed a smithereens. And besides, I'm only going to be there for 72 hours. All I'm saying, those in glass huts, right? Those in glass houses, do not cast those stones, okay? <laughs> those who want to throw out the war crime accusation, uh, you better be a winner. <laughs> or you better be back in. <laughs> <laughs> it's already been five days oh see it's a special military operation ah! so it follows the same timeline that you did and the way i see it i have a couple of years this yeah. is not fair when i came to ukraine to liberate you from nazi control i was called a war criminal and now that you have come into russia everybody is silent oh no 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 russia i assure you the world is not silent me and the rest of NATO have been laughing for days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, I'm actually surprised. Uh, I'm actually a little surprised in, in humans, modern pop culture. Uh, I'm very surprised right now that we have not made special military operation a bigger meme. Like, you know, hey, I'm going to add to uh, 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 legally distinct breakfast chain 24 hours place you want to go down to to breakfast place or special military operation i hear they got an all you can eat pancake buffet right i i feel like there could there it, maybe it did happen maybe i just totally missed it like because it's been a hot minute hasn't it maybe i just missed the the the, the peak of the meme kind of like how uh who touch a month baguette kind, kind of uh kind of in the older meme culture now what do you mean it was like six years ago seven years ago yeah like 2017 that's still like like the Mesozoic era when it comes to memes. You have to understand, okay? Things like like overly attached girlfriend and, and like awkward penguin, that that mm, mm, that that's like that's like like first seconds of like the actual universe. Like I mean, we're we're getting back in time at that point, okay? There's a whole a whole meme timeline here. <laughs> God, it's really cool to uh, have such a meme take on modern events, and uh, I, I do I know d know far less about Poland in actuality than I should, which I probably need to fix at some point. Gonna have to do some research on Poland. What? Why? <laughs> Everyone asks why is Poland, but nobody asks how is Poland. <laughs>
Oh, uh, another excellent video by Habitual Line Crosser. Down in the description down below, if you've never seen Habitual Line Crosser, I definitely recommend that you go and check him out. I've made it as easy as possible for you to find. Um, I, I highly recommend his content. It's very funny, very tongue-in-cheek, very uh, educational even at times. I mean, he clearly knows his weapon systems, clearly knows what's going on there. And there's people that are going to be just laughing at some of the stuff more than I am because um, they, they, they get the jokes. I unfortunately do not have enough understanding to get a lot of them, but he's just such a cool creator, and I want to push him to as many people as I can for him to hit over that 1 million mark in what spots the algorithm lets me hit. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the description down below comment section down below and I'll see you in the next one.